This program will take about five minutes. After watching this videotape, you will be involved in a group activity to test your proficiency of the information covered. So please get your paper and pencil ready to take notes while you watch this program. Every facility has at least one area in common besides the restrooms, and that is office space. Maintaining a clean and attractive building includes knowing how to clean the office and administrative areas of your building. As with all cleaning procedures, assembling supplies, chemicals, and equipment is important. Materials needed include barrel cart, dust wand, dust cloths, cleaning towels, plastic trash can liners, vacuum, dust mop, broom, dust pan, putty knife, and trigger sprayer of water. You will be using a variety of products while performing your responsibilities. These products have been specially formulated to enhance your productivity and efficiency while maintaining your facility. Chemicals needed to clean office space include glass cleaner, disinfectant cleaner, all-purpose cleaner, and carpet spotter, all packaged in trigger spray bottles. A furniture polish, gum remover, and stainless steel polish are also needed. Always remember that material safety data sheets, also known as MSDSs, are available for all products you will use during your cleaning procedure. Check with your supervisor to find out where they are located. To begin, inspect the area you are cleaning for any items that need repair. Make a note and report these to your supervisor. Check all ashtrays for hot ashes. Do this by placing your hand over the ashtray to see if it is hot. Dump it only if the ashes aren't hot. Wipe out the ashtray with a cloth and spot wipe with an all-purpose cleaner. Empty all trash containers and replace the plastic liner only if the liner is torn or soiled. Wipe down the exterior surface of the container. Dust all horizontal surfaces such as partitions and filing cabinets with a dust wand or dust cloth up to your hand height. You should use an all-purpose cleaner with a cloth to clean non-wood surfaces. All wood surfaces should be cleaned with a furniture polish and cloth. Your dust cloth should always be pre-treated with furniture polish by spraying the polish directly onto the cloth over a trash receptacle. This will protect the flooring from any overspray of polish. Remember that papers on desks and filing cabinets are not to be disturbed. Do not unplug or turn off computers or other equipment on the desktops. Telephones can be cleaned with disinfectant cleaner, sprayed directly onto a cloth and then wiping the phone. Be sure to only dry dust computers. Do not clean a computer with any chemical solution. Move through the work area from left to right using a pattern that can be followed during the cleaning procedure. Spot clean glass doors, partitions, and walls with glass cleaner using clean cloth or paper towels. Next. Vacuum the carpeting thoroughly using an upright vacuum or a backpack vacuum. Remove any spots. Make sure you are trained to remove spots from carpeting. If not, notify your supervisor about the spots. Then, dust mop hard surfaces using a dust mop. Using an all-purpose cleaner, spot clean light fixture plates, walls, doors, and other smudges using a clean cloth. Never spray product directly on a light switch. Spray it directly onto the cloth. On a daily basis, use glass cleaner or stainless steel polish with a clean cloth to wipe and polish the water fountain. If hard water residue builds up, see your supervisor for direction. To complete the cleaning of the office area, place wet floor signs where traffic would enter and exit the area. Mop the floor with neutral cleaner properly diluted per the labeled directions. The water should be cool, not hot, 
because hot water may damage the floor finish and dull the gloss. When the floor is dry, pick up the wet floor signs and return the furniture and items to their original places. Turn off all the lights and secure the doors when ready to leave. Then return your made cart to the supply closet and clean and organize your supplies before using them again. Remember, the job you do cleaning the building properly and professionally reflects on the people who use it, the students, faculty, and public, and the appearance overall reflects on you.